Hello everyone. Today we're going to make a uttapam with my 5 in 1 dosa batter. I had put a video previously. Please go check it. And for uttapam to make a nice fluffy one, we need to add few ingredients to the batter. The same 5 in 1 batter, but this I've taken a small portion like about uh, 2 cups of the batter. And then we're going to add a pinch of baking soda and a tablespoon of semolina, rava or suji. Okay, this will give you a nice crisped up uttapam on both sides. Okay, and a teaspoon of sugar just to sweeten it a bit. The consistency has to be a little uh, like dosa batter but slightly fluffier and usually uttapam is the last thing I make when my batter is almost done because by then there's a sourness and the batter has fermented really well. Uh, so sometimes you don't really need to add baking soda but here I have done to show you how it looks okay and uh, once we get the batter all set with sugar baking soda and the rava let it sit for five minutes and then start making this batter breakfast batter is unique and please do check my older video for how to make the five in one breakfast batter and today I like to saute for the uttapam all my vegetables along with some onion. So let's get started with sauteing uh, ingredients. I have some cumin seeds. I'll use a teaspoon of it, about a tablespoon of chopped, finely chopped curry leaves, about two tablespoons of cilantro and one teaspoon of finely chopped green chilies. And I have a cup of finely chopped onions and I have a little bit of asafoetida and some salt and oil and this is the vegetable I'm going to make uttapam vegetable uh, so basically I had the frozen vegetable that I kind of wanted to chop it but then this is a shorter method I just pulse it in my mixie and I toss all these ingredients and then add the veggies let it saute a bit and then add it on top of the uttapam okay my batter is ready, my pan is ready, let's get cooking. So I have my wok heated up, I'm going to add about a teaspoon, no maybe a tablespoon of hot oil, I mean oil, this is olive oil, you could use any other oil, any oil is fine. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of my cumin seeds, olive oil, I don't let it smoke, it has a bad rep for smoking. So quickly add that, let it saute. Some people would add mustard seeds, but I prefer my cumin. Let it splutter a little bit. Then I would add some asafoetida, two pinches. Your food talks to you, listen to it. Give it a swirl all toasted and now I would add my curry leaves I use some dried ones I couldn't go get the fresh ones from the garden because it was raining outside so these are dried ones but you can still chop it and use them always keep some dried curry leaves handy for days like this so add in your onions let it wilt a little bit get sauté. I'm going to add my green chilies as well. Sauté till it's nice and translucent. Because we're going to add vegetables and then sauté again. Sometimes you can make this mixture ahead of time and put it in a fridge and anytime you're ready to use uttapam so go ahead and you know, pull it out and toss it on top of your uttapam. Uttapam is slightly thicker than dosa. Uh, the consistency of the batter is also slightly thicker than dosa and it's just fluffy and nice crunchy on both sides and onions and green chili the jeera or the cumin everything adds beautiful flavor to it some people make the tomato and capsicum i mean whatever vegetables you have at hand you can make it with it 
and today I'm just using the frozen vegetables because that was handy and I didn't have time to chop it into fine pieces uh, so I just went ahead and gave it a little spin in my mixing jar and hope it turns out well. So, see. so the onion is almost sauteed. I'll add in my frozen vegetables. I think I pulsed it a bit too much, but let's see. So this has peas, carrots, corns and green beans. I'll add some salt, just so all the veggies will get some flavor. Not too much, we have salt in the batter as well. So like half a teaspoon should do. Can you hear the rain? My vegetables and onion have sauteed very well. I'm going to garnish with some cilantro and turn off the stove. And this is what we will use for our uttapam. So my griddle is hot. I have my uttapam topping ready and I have my batter ready. And the trick to pouring uttapam batter is not to smear it like dosa. So let's go ahead and make one for you, okay? So in general, uttapam, you just let the batter do the talking on the pan. So depending on the size you want, you'll just let it sit. Don't over smear it, let it just spread evenly by itself. But sometimes you just tilt the pan. And then I'm gonna take the seasoning or the uh, topping by hand because the spoon was giving me lumpy dumpy ones. I'm gonna do it with my hand. If you had fresh vegetables, it'll be very colorful because today I sauteed it all. It looks a little different. But yeah, do the needful of spreading it evenly on the pan and make sure you, you can go generous or skimp on it depending on how much filling you like. And please lower the flame. The flame has to be really, really on medium. So it will cook on both sides and you have a nice golden uh, uttapam. Unless, unlike dosa, uh, you don't need to smear the batter. Okay, put some oil or ghee. Ghee tastes really good, but oil is uh, good for now. And wait for it to get cooked on one side. Lift it up and see how it looks. It still needs to get done and uh, we'll roast it, we'll flip it and roast it on the other end. The nice crunchy uttapam, you have to cook it on very slow flame and right now it looks like it's set on one end. I'm going to flip it and cook it on the other. Give it a little press so all the vegetables will get stuck to the uh, uttapam. Be very patient and gentle and it'll get done beautifully. So the oven is ready to be flipped. And it's crunchy on both ends. We will leave it on for a minute and then transfer it to a plate with idli pudi and chutney. Um, I will teach you how to make one. And uh, I mix it with sesame oil people keep chasing the pudding with the oil so this is already mixed up we just serve it that way the is ready to be plated